Here I'm going to use a little bit an older add-on from January. It's called the Laser Slicer. So I go to the scene. I add a nice object, my favorite one. I scale that a little bit up, <laughs> not down, up. So apply the scale just to be sure. Then I go to my uh, fun workspace where I have all the funny add-ons. This is the laser slicer panel. I'm going only to use the thickness. So you will see that I select this object and, and the thickness is on 2 and that will give me more than 2000, almost 3000 slices which is a bit too much. So I bump this up it goes, doesn't go higher than 50 so to solve that I go to the scene tab and then to the unit units and then I turn this down and you see and the, uh, the number of slices is changing so uh, let's say I want 30 slices like that so then I slice the object and I got these slices here now it is um, a mesh and you cannot do much with it for example you cannot use the skin modifier or something so I convert it first to um, curve then I go to, to this tab then geometry bevel I turn the bevel up a little bit or the depth then go to object convert to mesh shade smooth then let's go over here and we can give it a material let's say something like this and then the roughness bit down so we can see already a nice uh, result so that's already pretty interesting um, you can experiment with that there's a lot you can do we can also use the different way check if I can go a few steps back so now we have this one I think that is so that's a curve alright so then I go to object then I convert to grease pencil let's hide this object we have here grease pencils like that then we go to the material tab and then we add the fill color like that then it gives a nice result over here turn all those things off but when we look up it's a bit strange so we go to this tab I believe and then we have to go to strokes and then stroke depth order is 3D location and then we see it like that there are loads of things you can do with the grease pencil for example uh, a little bit of a glow let's turn that a bit down like that and there are loads of things you can do with a grease pencil for example the fill you make a texture of it open textures and let's choose something all right so i thought that this um a pretty interesting you can do you can also Combine the mesh with your original mesh and then remesh it. Re oh, yeah, that's not here. So um, you go to remesh and then 
voxel and then you have an object with uh, rebels for example all right <laughs>